Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're doing standing hip extensions, a glute and hamstring exercise that just about everyone can do, but I'm gonna give you two variations to make it more challenging. Let's get to work. So I'm gonna be using this old busted chair here. You don't have to use a chair, uh, but you may want to if you have issues with balance. It also is gonna help keep my upper body upright as I extend my hip back. So here I am standing next to the chair holding on uh, to help keep my balance like I said, and then I have my toes pointed straight ahead at about hip width apart. And from here, I'm just going to squeeze my glute and extend that hip straight back. It's okay if you have your knee just a little bit bent. So I'm squeezing that glute, extending the hip back without rotating that hip. I want to keep my hip going straight back. One key to remember when you're doing the hip standing hip extensions is that my iliofemoral ligament, which is here on the front of my hip, limits how far I can extend. So what that means is no matter how hard I try, I can only go back so far. Anything beyond that, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up arching my back, which is something that we don't want. So for that reason, it's going to, we're going to keep it at a relatively short range of motion. Now, once I finish my set on my right side, it's important to make sure I always do the same amount on the other side. Now, if this is a little bit too easy, we can add a resistance band to make it a little bit more challenging. So uh, what I'm using here is called, sometimes called a pull-up band. And you can see that I have this tied basically just to another busted chair but you can put your band on anything tighter, on anything that you know will not move as you pull back on it. So from here, you can see this is very similar to how we were doing it without the band. I'm standing up tall, I'm squeezing my glutes to extend my hip back. It's important to make sure that I have tension on the band from the very beginning. If not, then I'm not really getting that full work through the full range of motion. So as I extend my hip here, I'm standing tall and still making sure not to arch my back. For variation two, I'm back to just one busted chair and I've got the mini bands around my ankles. So the, thing, the deal with mini bands though is since I have such short range of motion on this exercise, it's hard to get much tension on the bands. So for this reason, I'm gonna go ahead and make one small change. So I'm gonna slightly hinge my hips, which is gonna put me into a hip flexed position. From here, I can get a little bit more extension as I'm squeezing those glutes. I can get a little bit more extension without arching my back still. So that's always going to be the key is that we can get that full extension without arching the back. If you need a refresher on how to hip hinge for our mini band variant, go ahead and click this video here. If you want to see another hip extension exercise, go ahead and check out my how to glute bridge video right here. If you learned something from this, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.